Lucy. Um, this morning I'm going to be reviewing something completely different. Uh, it's something that I, I talk about at my workshops, but um, often people are a little bit freaked out by them just purely because of uh, the idea of it. But um, this nowadays, I mean, we, we get a little bit precious about different things, but um, what I'm reviewing today is reusable menstrual pads and why they're, they're sort of making, they're actually making a giant comeback at the moment. They uh, are becoming very popular, but you only go back, say, 20, 25 years ago, and when you got your period, they used to call it your rags, and you used to just have some old rags that you used, and, and that was it, or, you know, go back even further, and they had all sorts of awkward contraptions. Um, but nowadays, we're sort of going more into a modern version of rags, so what it is, is in this here, I've been sent two boxes of these to give away actually. So I've got a, a box of regular pads from Charlie Banana, um, or from uh, the company in New Zealand is Bitty Bums. And the other one is um, some panty liners. So I'm just going to show you both of these products. Um, very cute, like very cool. These are little panty liners, so they're reusable panty liners. Um, nice little pretty pattern on it. They have it, so what, how these work is that they have... Uh, inside they have a little absorbent layer and on the outside you've got a waterproof layer and on the top layer you've got a stay dry layer so this is it's all nice and comfortable actually had a had a lady recently email me after coming to my workshop and wanted to um, just tell me that she'd been used started using reusable pads and she felt felt like she was sitting on a little piece of heaven every day but because um, a nice little cushion uh, but the the funny thing is with the pads, reusable pads, is they don't smell. There's no smell because it's just a fabric. Um, whereas recently when I went in to get some pads um, from the supermarket just to take as part of my uh, uh, conference um, display that I had. Sorry, I was trying to struggling to get that out. Um, I went in to get a, a packet of pads just to take for this display. And what I found was when I stood in front of the pads, you could smell them, which is really weird because I haven't used pads for ages. I actually use a menstrual cup myself, but um, the, I, I, I found it found it really odd that you could you could actually smell the pads. And the the big thing with these is that there is no smell because there's no there's nothing in them. It's just a fabric. Um, you've just got to wash them a little bit carefully. So these ones here, this is for like the old, as I would, as I would call it, the sneeze wee. So these are great for if you have a sneeze wee, because um, it's just a little, a little, little pad. So it's a or a liner as they call them. And then they have the bigger one. So this is your regular size. So it is bigger. Um, so for your normal period days. And how they work is they just clip. So they just clip around your underwear. So when you're when you wear them, it's no different to your disposable ones, but they just clip around your underwear. And then when you've finished using them, um, you just fold it in. So you fold it in thirds like that and just clip it back together. Um, and then what these guys have done is they've given you a little, a little zip bag. So um, I would probably have two, one with my clean ones in it and then one for if you're at work or something like that, then have another one that you've just can zip your dirty ones up and take them home. Now dealing with um, menstrual pads is always something that people get a bit weird about because it's blood. Um, but basically what I suggest is you just have a little, like go to your $2 shop or something like that, buy a little swing top rubbish bin with, with the little flip lids and then just um, fill it up with, with warm water and maybe a little bit of soap, um, liquid soap powder, or soap powder or something like that. Just melt it all down or make it all nice so that it's, and then just stick them in the wee um, swing top rubbish bin and just leave them there for the day. And at the end of the day, just pop them through the wash with everything else. Um, they're not, I, I think, you know, talking about periods and things is a bit of a taboo subject and people get really weird about, you know, uh, like it's, it's almost like it's something you, you shouldn't talk about because it's a little bit awkward. Um, I'm really lucky I'm in the position now where I talk about it with thousands of parents a year. Um, but it's, it's, you know, the reality is we all have it. So we've all got to deal with it. The, the cool thing for me is that having little reusable products like this um, just make it a little bit more, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's hygienic as a, as a disposable pad. It's just the fact that you wash one and use it hundreds of times as opposed to throwing one away, you know, five or six times a day. Um, and so, yeah, so it's the, these are 
the little Charlie banana ones, I think they're very cute with the little patterns and things on them. Um, the micro fleece obviously keeps you dry, so there's really no difference. It's just that uh, you've got a little bit of an upfront investment with buying reusable pads, um, but then you've got them for a long time. So um, definitely worthwhile having a go if you're if you're keen to try. Um, but yeah, they generally come either singly or in little packs. These ones have packs of three in each pack. Um, so that's, you know, you'd need a couple of packs to get through. Um, or maybe three packs to get through a period. But I encourage you, get a pack and try it and see see how you go. Um, you know, I, I'd like to see them making a bigger comeback, but they they are coming back. So let's uh, let's start talking about them. I am. <laughs> um, so that's my re my review for today, and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow.